Hello, my name is Eren Özmen. I'm from Turkey. I'm a third year PhD student in the Institute of Karno Şimi Bala Sirmat. My study mainly focuses on the additive manufacturing of ceramic metallic multimaterials. In additive manufacturing, very complex shapes that cannot be manufactured by conventional methods can be obtained. For example, this object that I'm holding in my left hand is made of titanium powder and produced by powder bed selective laser processing method. This internal grid is almost impossible to obtain by conventional methods. And here in my other hand, I'm holding a ceramic piece with an internal cavity. This is also very challenging and almost impossible to obtain by conventional methods. In our study, powder bed selective laser processing is used to create ceramic metallic multimaterials as the main objective of the study. In this process, the powder of desired material is selectively melted or sintered with the help of a laser. As layers are created successively, the 3D object is created and formed. The second part of the manufacturing, the ceramic part of the multimaterial, was the most challenging one in my study. At the very beginning, the ceramic powder was only absorbing less than 1% of the laser radiation. To make the ceramic powder more absorbent, less than 1 weight percent of graphite powder with a high absorbency was added in the powder blend physically. This helped us to interact the ceramic powder with the laser with absorbency around 60%, which was adapted level to process ceramic powder with this method. However, increasing the laser absorbency was not enough to obtain solid dense ceramic parts itself. Because of their nature, ceramics are very sensitive to rapid heat change. And powder wet selective laser processing is a method where a very high energy is transferred to the powder bed in a very short time, which creates huge thermal gradients. After the first part of the objective, being able to obtain ceramic parts by powder bed selective laser processing, we started focusing on the ceramic metallic multimaterial printing. In the structure, the most important part was the interface between the ceramic and the metallic part. As additive manufacturing of these multimaterials is considered as an alternative to conventional ceramic metallic joining, a full characterization on the interface was necessary. To expose the interface, samples were cut into halves by abrasive cutting machine with the help of a diamond blade. So the interface was exposed. Then polishing and surface finishing protocols were followed. When the samples were ready, many characterization methods were applied. For example, to track the transformation or creation of new phases, both in the ceramic and the metallic part were tracked by EXRD measurements. On the other side, for elemental composition analyzing, methods like microprop analysis or elemental mapping by EDX were preferred. At the end, it's possible to say that additive manufacturing, more specifically powder bed selective laser processing, can be an alternative to conventional ceramic metallic joining methods. However, there are still some question marks remaining to be answered, especially in the area of mechanical behavior of the interface.